What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of SunamiRose.net. Oop, I don't know what happened there, you guys. Oh my gosh, I was going on for about three minutes. You guys, I was going on about three minutes with talking to myself here. Okay, so my bad. What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of Tsunami Rose down there. I can't believe I was on mute for three minutes solid and got one like. That's great. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Anyway. Awkward beginning, but um, coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, as I do my day to Friday, bring you journal content and videos. So you guys, <laughs> I I was on mute. So what I was saying is that I start off my stamp and pouch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Um, as I was saying, when nobody heard me, <laughs> um, I start off my embellishments by sewing three random strips of paper together. And in here, I even added like this is actually two strips here in the middle. So there's even more to it like that. But usually, it's three strips of paper. Sizes don't even really matter. But you do have to try and stitch them all together. This is a fail right here. Uh, you could use two strips of paper. So these, uh, so these started off as really long strips like this, and some of them I just made really small like this to begin with. But normally I do use, I start off at this size bar right here, maybe about four or five inches. I use these to make various um, embellishments, but one of the ones that I like to do, and that I currently need to restock, are my little uh, stamp embellishments. Basically what I do is I use this as a background for them. So it's kind of like a little frame. So I like to get the color right, you know. So this looks pretty cute together. It's it's a big stamp. 
So it'll look cute there in the middle. So it's like a little background for it. Move that down. I can't believe it, obviously. <laughs> what an awkward beginning of my life, I guess. <laughs> I guess I have. Oh, this is the Girl Scouts USA. Okay. So, now I like this one. I found this flower that I like for it. And these are digitals from my shop. The flowers, if you'd like to check them out, I will leave a link to where you can find them. I sell them uh, already cut out, or you can fuzzy cut them, or if you have a digital cutting machine, perhaps you can use that. There's the link for them. Okay, so then I, I'm going to glue this flower here. Just going to add a little bit of glue there. That'll be enough because the whole thing is going to get glued down to the page. So there's the first one that we just did. Now let's add a flower to this one right here. So, now this one could be kind of large. I don't know what that's doing there. Hi, Liz. Daisy, I've been loving all the scripture digitals you did recently. They came in handy for the journals and me for the women's culture. Ooh, awesome, Jorinda. I'm so happy to hear that. I am so happy. This would be cute right there. Yeah, I like that. I'll just add that here. There we go. There's a little background for that. Again, I just use them to make like a little background for the stamp, basically. Miss Patricia, I don't know if I had said hi to you, but hi. Okay, so here's these two now that I have done. And this is from the same strip, strip of paper, right? So that's why I start off with strips of paper like that and I just keep cutting it down according to the size of the stamp or I use, I get one piece and then I use the rest of it. Either way, that is fun. And this is a good way to get rid of some scraps. Here's one that just caught my eye. Two row. It's kind of interesting. Hang on one second, I just got a text. Okay. So, I like that there. It's just some synagogue stamp, but I like the background. I just go for the colors. That's all I'm really looking at with these stamps. Whatever colors kind of go or pop out against the background here. And then just cut off the extra piece. And then this I could either toss or I could like obsessively keep. <laughs> I can obsessively keep little pieces. Either way, I don't know what I'll do yet. <laughs> it's just safer to keep. So hard to keep. Uh, it's so hard to keep to throw away things when you do jump trunks. So this could look pretty with this flower here. That would be pretty. Yeah, 
balanced. I like it. You could also use a little stapler and staple the flower on. That would be kind of cute too. There's that one. And the, the papers just make such a cute little like frame. And I stitched on them. You could of course just glue everything down, but it just gives it a little, a little something something. Uh, let's go with this one now. Now this piece I didn't get to sew on correctly, so we're just gonna glue it on there. So here we go, it's pink. I need something kind of little. There we go, that looks cute. Here. Y'all are too kind. And I got yours going up soon, Jude. Sorry I'm taking so long. Um, let's see. I kept an Amazon box though because I was like, what if I get an international? So it was just like the perfect size box. And now I shall send it to you. Oh, oh, you guys, I forgot to mention, I find I got my chipboard in. And you know what? I love it. That's going to keep right there. I love this chipboard that I ordered. And I'm so excited because it's going to make me be able to skip a couple steps. Oh, I wish she was. No, these are, I have been using this stash of stamps. They sent it to me, stuffed this sandwich bag, stuffed with stamps, and I have dwindled it down to this. This is very little for me. <laughs> for me, this is very little. So that looks really cute to me right there. This makes a cute little frame and you have the flower and I love it. So now we have the rest of this. So we either have a long stamp. I kind of don't like this right here. This little piece I don't like. There we go. That's a little bit better. Either that, either that was pointless or I'm going to use the whole thing. I shall see when I look through my stamps here. Again, I'm literally just looking at colors. Green would be pretty. Columbia University. Well, hmm, I like this green more though. Um, let's see. Purple. There's a cool car on there. 50th anniversary of the trucking industry. Ooh, I like purple. Let's go with the purple just because it's like completely different than any of the colors behind it. And I like that. And put this bar behind it. That would look cute. Yes, I like that. Let me get my footstool. Oh my god, you guys, my footstool. I need my footstool. So I need to make a lot of embellishments. <laughs> 
so I can decorate my next 10 journals, maybe even more, because it's been a while since I've made embellishments now. Oh, so I'm happy. That's going to be a lot of work, though. Yeah, that is a cool thing. So here's the chipboard I got. So it was 100 pieces. A 50 point, that's what it's called. That's how they identify or measure the thickness, I should say, of the chipboard. So this is 0.50. So what I did, let me show you. So what I did was I Googled what is the thickness of a cereal box. And it said 20 points. And so what I normally do is I normally glue two cereal boxes together, right, to make my covers. And so I said, well, then what I want is twice the thickness of a cereal box set. So when I looked it up, this was 50, 50 point uh, chipboard. This is eight and a half by 11. I got 100 sheets of it. Um, so I'm going to be able to cut this down the middle and that's my cover. And then one of these other pieces will be for the spine and that's it. That's all I had to do. <laughs> so a hundred pieces of that. So I'm excited. There's, a, there's going to be a lot of junk journals being made from those. So I am excited. I think I want to do more hexagon junk journals. Those are going to take a while. Freaking hexagon. It hurts even just to cut them out. Just to cut out the, the, the hexagon is a lot of work. <laughs> and then to sew together. So I'm going to start working on that. Um, but I think I might do just single fabric three signature journals next. Because I have a lot of fabric I want to do. I want to uh, use up pretty much. I have a lot of. My fabric stash is way too big, so I need to use it up. So again, here is the um, embellishments I made from that one strip. Oops. These are the embellishments that I uh, used for that one, from that one strip, basically going like this. But these are the two embellishments that I got from it. Just make it into a really cute background. Doesn't matter if there's excess or nothing like that. And then you don't even have to add a flower. It actually looks really cute just like that. And I've done it just like this and stuck it on the corner. Uh, let's see your next. Uh, yeah, very big. Yes, I'm very excited about it. Um, so it's even thicker than I normally work with. So I either have to use my cutting board and my um. And my uh, fabric cutter, what's it called? The cutter, rotary cutter. Or I, I want to see if my Fiskars Precision cutter can cut up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Hi, Miss Beverly. Let's see if I can make this little piece work here. It's, it's just some random little piece. This is too big. <laughs> Way too big. I mean, very specific sizes. Sometimes that kind of slows me down on the stamp embellishments. But I like to have like one or two per signature. So I don't need too, too many of these. Mount Vernon. I think that's for, is that where George Washington lived? Dang, was, is it? Is it? Yeah, it is. It's, it's where Washington lived I should say that would actually look really cute like that but I don't know about the stamp because the color is was good without the, the flower <laughs> suppose I could find a different flower but ah, that looks beautiful oh I love that I love it So let's do this. Sometimes I'll put the flower right behind the stamp. Like 
this case, that's what's going to happen. So instead of putting behind the background, I'll put it behind the stamp. And it just looks pretty also. I love it. Let's keep it going. Sometimes little pieces like this. I think I sewed these two pieces together because that's done. Not how that would be cut. I think I don't even know. Ooh, look, I found this. <laughs> Random embellishment in my stamp was my stash of stamps. So wow. Oh, but that would look gorgeous right there on top. Ooh, yes. Yes. This one's got the little foil action going on there. Put it right there on top. I love that. What's that to keep stamp to? It just says one cent. Love it. I love it. Okay, so you're on this one though. <laughs> we were on this one. Oh, Mr. Einstein. We need to use him. That looks great. That looks wonderful. Yes. Right there. Yes, Mr. Einstein. Such a nice shade of purple. It's almost like a purple, a dark purple. I love it. I love it, you guys. I got them building up a little stash, just like I like to do. You already know. So let's keep going. Now, uh, we could do this right here, this strip. And uh, we'll have to work our way down here. I'm not saying so I guess I can put it here. Um, keep it on with the blue. It's really like a yellow stamp. Understanding the sun. It's kind of cool. So we'll keep using that strip, but I'm going to put it off to the side for now. Up this here, and I like that there on top. And then look at that right behind the stamp. It's going to be too big. Maybe this yellow flower here would be nice. That would be cute right there. That would be adorable. Actually, let me turn it around. Put that there instead, so you can see this raw exposed area. That's kind of cute. There we go. That's what I meant. Have kind of this little exposed area. It's really cute. Some, like NASA stamp understanding the sun it says. Cool. Next. Settlement of Florida. 
Ooh, that really pops with that background though. That really pops. I like that. Okay, so. Makes a nice tall looking cupcake stamp. <laughs> so really I think that's one of the tallest ones. It has to be. It does. It looks so cute though. I am going to keep on going. Um okay. Let's finish this one up. I'm going to kind of blend a little bit too much. Philo Fonsworth, the TV guy. He stands out, so let's put him there. Oh, let's find a flower. What about this red? That would be pretty. Yes. I love it. So tiny. <laughs> Everything is so tiny. If you want to check out my uh, fuzzy cut flowers or floral clip art that I'm using here, you can check out my shop. I have them cut out as well as printable for you to cut out with the hearts going the right way. I don't even know if any of them will show. It's just stupid. There we go. That looks interesting. Again, I'll just glue that to the corner of a page. And there's my little embellishment. Okay. Give me one second. Got this piece right here, whatever that was supposed to be. Mr. Eisenhower. I love that because he's like a dark burgundy. And I really like that on this background. Mm 
no, 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 no. Why do I have stamps in here? <laughs> I'm not understanding why there's stamps in my flowers. That one looks cute. I should have put him back. I should have put him behind the, the flowers. Hang on. Hang on. Oh my god. <laughs> Stamps are pretty usually forgiving. I don't know what they're made out of. <laughs> but they are pretty forgiving. We're just going to put the flower behind him because I would look better than the flower behind the whole paper. Them back. There we go. There we go. Oh, now I like it. That looks so cute. Okay, next we'll do this. Why not? Oh, oh, this is cute. Homemakers. It doesn't really stand out very much behind that, though. I mean, in front of that. This is kind of cute. This blue. Let's see. Maybe we can use this end instead. This end is a little bit more interesting. Okay, so let's see here. This rose. No, it's too big. Too big. These are so cute and different. The stamps. Yeah, they all look kind of different. Bigger flower. No. It's a little bit better. Let's go with this one. There we go. That one looks adorable. I love it. Okay, then we got the rest of this here. Yeah, so I really gotta separate my Christmas stamps. Oh, this one's really cute. It's got like a little tree, a little gingerbread man, a little Santa, a little sugar cane, a little bird. That's so cute. I love this one. That is adorable. Too big. Roosevelt. Mm 
maybe not there for me here. This happens sometimes. I'll be doing one thing and then drop it immediately and do something else. Because he looks kind of adorable here. But I gotta figure out what flower. Why are there stamps in my flowers? I'm telling you, it's driving me crazy right now. <laughs> it's driving me a little crazy. That looks cute. Yes, I love that. I gotta do my purple journals. I think that's what I'm gonna do next. Purple. There we go. That looks cute. Not the one I started out with, <laughs> but it got there. We got somewhere. Okay, so <laughs> back, back focusing on this one. And just the right size stamp. Kind of too little. Maybe this not burning one. Let's see the flower situation. I need to cut out more flowers. I only have really small or really large flowers left. Okay, the Mount Vernon one looks pretty like this. Okay. I'm gonna do that. And I need to spend more time sewing up my scraps like this because I this is all I have left right here. <laughs> and I used to have a big old stack. <laughs> and that has not been so for a long time now. Uh, let's see, we got this right here. No, it doesn't stand out enough. Roberto Clementes. Henry O. Tank. Blends into the background. Oh, oh, Mr. Benneker. Is he going to come through? Oh, yes, he is. Perfect. Oh, that would be interesting like that. That would be interesting right there. Yes, yeah, sew up your scraps. Like I said, either two or three pieces. And they could either be strips like this. Or you can do three little pieces. Or do two. But sew them up. They make great backgrounds. They also make great text spots. If I just cut this piece off right here and glue that side to a page, that's a great text spot. I love it. I love it. Let's see what else I'm going to do here. I want it to be towards the top. So that makes an interesting background right there. There we go. Oh. That looks 
dark screen. I love that. This is not the tallest one, I think. <laughs> Officially, I think this is the tallest one. Such cute little embellishments out of these. I love it every time. <laughs> See, they have this stamp right here. Then I'll save these little scrappy pieces too. And then eventually I'll just sew them together like that. And then I have, <laughs> I literally have another background. Like, I mean, I don't have to even sew them together. I can just glue them together. Like this. And now I have another background to work with. So that's why sometimes I'm almost hesitant to throw things away because I can literally make something new out of it. You know what I mean? Like this right here could be something. Especially once I have like the little stitching details, I don't even like to throw those away. I have two backgrounds right there. I have little pieces that don't, I have little pieces that look like trash, okay? See, we could add it and make something else. I'm just gonna keep doing it. This is almost like uh, when I scrap quilt. You know what I mean? When I make my scrap quilts, this feels oddly similar to that. Just matching up pieces. This right here. We could do. Madness continues. <laughs> I tell you what, the madness continues. <laughs> this might not throw anything away. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Throwing stuff away is very important. <laughs> very important. Okay. But if you forget to. <laughs> ourselves some more backgrounds as you can see right there. Yes, I love this glue, this turbo tacky glue. I use exclusively other than a glue stick. Okay, so now we have a whole new batch of backgrounds. Okay, so let's get to work. Not too big. That is actually kind of a cute frame because you can see all the papers. I kind of love that. Also, there could be a smaller stamp. Let me keep that as an option. Uh, could also be Mr. Jackson over here, Mr. Andrew Jackson. And Blocking. Blocking some of it, but let's see what else we got. Oh, this would be cute up here. With whatever stamp I use, this is going to be up here. Or it could be like this. I just don't want to block the papers from showing. I think we need to find a stamp that fits this just perfectly. right there. Let's find something that fits that a little bit better. Let's see what we got. Will Rogers. That actually looks pretty cool. Again, why those are my stamps, I don't know why they're flowers. I'm gonna go crazy right now. 
Nobody lives here but me and my husband, but somebody is mess messing with my stamps. <laughs> I don't know who. <laughs> but I will catch them. Tom Sawyer. Well, I like the little Tom Sawyer one better. It's a little cuter. You can hardly include him. I wonder. So that is such a cute little background. Ooh. Ooh, the foil is making it slide. <laughs> that looks adorable. It looks like a little cake. I kind of love it. I kind of really love it. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Well, this bottle is about $3, three, three, three something, three and some change. It's not cheap. It certainly isn't the most expensive. I kind of like this neutral background. This would look cute together, yes. I love it. I love it so much. She paid nine dollars, oh, nine of your dollars. That would be a lot if it was nine dollars. <laughs> that would be a lot. I buy them three at a time because <laughs> I love them so much. Reminds me to pick up a bottle or two and I go into Walmart next. Oh, I got new glasses, you guys. I got new glasses. I got new sunglasses. I'm excited. I got a little blinder, the doctor said. <laughs> doctor said, I love that blinder. But I'm excited for sunglasses because my eyes are always so sensitive around the sunlight. And I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of only wanting to drive certain hours of the day because the sun is at an optimal area in the <laughs> for when I drive. So I got me some sunglasses. I got me some regular glasses. I... I've been wearing the same, like, dark, heavy black frames <laughs> for so long now that I'm, like, almost scared to pick anything else. So, of course, I got me some <laughs> black, uh, heavy black frames. <laughs> I, I don't like myself in anything else. It's so weird. I've just gotten so accustomed to... That one just looks so cute by itself. It looks very, very scrappy. I kind of love that. It looks so scrappy. Let's see. Oh, Mr. Bobby Jones. Because he's a uh, tennis player. This is the key on this background right here. I want that to be bigger, but I also, also it's probably not going to fit right if it's bigger. Oh, maybe this red one. Do I like the red or do I like the green? Red. I'm gonna go with the green. I'm gonna go with the green. They look cute, your glasses. Thank you. I'm telling you, like I feel like I look at myself in other <laughs> frames and I'm just like, no, 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 no. But like everybody else looks so cute in their frames, and then I try the frames and then I just I look weird. 
<laughs> I'm just way too used to me in these glasses. In these frames. I've literally had these these basically the same frames for like the last 10 years. For <laughs> so probably even longer than that. I have really uh, embraced the black frame. That makes it look, I don't know, I want like a yellow flower or something. Maybe I'm being too picky here. Still not finished moving over. I'm telling you, it takes me like three years to move in somewhere. Okay, so, <laughs> so I better not move for three years because I'm barely finished packing up. <laughs> I'm packing. I'm the worst at unpacking because it just takes so long to pack. I get annoyed with the whole process <laughs> and I don't want to even think about it. Let's see this red. Just make it even more crazy here. No, I don't need that. Hang on, I just got the text. <laughs> My husband is so cute. <laughs> So when I want my legs massaged, we call it rubbing nubs. <laughs> I'll say come rub my nubs. And so that means come rub my legs. And so he just uh, texted me. He's like, I'm almost there to rub your nubs. <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. <laughs> Go. Okay, so let's see, do I, it's too big, it's just too big, I don't keep it there just in case, just in case, everything is either too small or too big, what is up with that? It's the same size. Oh, goodness, 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 goodness. Let's see. Oh, that looks cute. Yes, I love that. I'm busy trying to build shelves for the house. Then my crafter, not my crafter, I gotta get my brains to craft first. Of course, crafter first. It's like the law. I like Andrew Jackson a little bit better. I'm going to put him down. I only changed my mind making these things like 10,000 times. There we go. That one looks really cute. All those different colors and different stitching. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I got my little stash. You guys, I'm so happy. Yay. 
Let's see. Got this one here. have really small stamp sized flowers just for this occasion. <laughs> just for this moment right here. That looks really cute. <laughs> I want shelves. I don't know where I want them yet, but I know I want shelves. There we go. That looks cute. Just a bunch of little pieces of glue together. I'm telling you, this is such a fun process. Like making the strips of paper is fun. Oddly enough, it really is fun. <laughs> to sew little strips of paper together. So here's a little, little stamp. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. Yep, let's do that. So first we got this stamp in the middle. That to this right here. That looks gorgeous. I love that. Interesting shape. And this is kind of like a little, too much of a little stuff. I don't know what I'll do with this because it's too little. But this maybe we could do something with. Here's a little orange stamp. I kind of love that. Sometimes I'll even put the stamp off to the corner. In this case, I'm going to put this corner. I don't like it. <laughs> you know, that I have his man shut fits. <laughs> it's gotta be even, you know. It's gotta be even. <laughs> That'll look cute together. That is the tiniest one here. Four A plus years together, we got it started. That's cute. I love that. I love it. I'm gonna get some glue under my nail. Oh no. Okay. So that goes there. And this should be. Middle, I should put it off to the side. I'm going to put it off to the side like this so you can see the background. Yes. Yes, that looks good. So, you guys, that is going to be it for me tonight. Like I said, I'm going to focus on make embellishments this weekend, so I might go live a couple times, expect me, maybe not, I don't know, it's always up in the air for me on the weekends, whether I feel like it, sometimes I just feel like crafting, you know, <laughs> like just watching TV and just crafting, um, 
but check me out definitely on Monday. Uh, we'll come back. I'm not sure what I'll be doing either. Making more embellishments, or maybe I will have made a lot by the. I don't know. We'll probably be making more embellishments. But um, thank you guys so much for checking me out today. I will see you guys for sure on Monday. But check out my channel on the weekend. Maybe I went live. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for your support in my shop. I loaded up five pair of journals there today. And uh, again, if you're looking for junk journal printables, please check out my store. Thank you guys so, so much. I will see y'all Monday. Bye.